Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Tendril, a turn-based tactics roguelike deck builder that I'm very excited to be checking out the demo for here today. It looks really good, and it came out of absolutely nowhere, so let's pop on in and see what it's all about. Choose two heroes. I saw for the demo there's only the two heroes and one act, but it's a demo, that's why. Uh, Dragoon. Close combat knockback specialist who excels at being in the front line of defense. Warrior. Harnesses natural elements to cast on enemies from afar. The mystic is a mage. Checks out. Tutorial. Playing cards. Defeat enemies by playing cards from each character's hand. Cards require energy to be played. Once you're out of energy, you can end your turn. Standard. Enemies show their next action and target of that action. Melee enemies attack the hero nearest to them. Hovering a hero shows you the enemy intents that are currently targeting it. Okay. Pretty, you know, familiar stuff there, but... Very nice in a, you know, turn-based tactics environment, a, like a grid-based turn-based tactics environment. Enemies and certain objects will impede movement. Every hero always draws one move card. Always a dream. I've played a decent amount of roguelike deck builders that kind of go for this combo with turn-based tactics, and movement is always the number one problem, so I'm curious to see how that helps. This shows the card's target selection rules, such as unit versus ground. Gotcha. Right there. Range 2. Uh, shows you the card's minimum maximum range. Enemy loses two power. Gotcha. Barriers absorb ranged attacks when they are between the attacker and the target. The enemy's intent shows a broken ranged attack when a barrier is preventing it from hitting its target. Right there. Gotcha. Cool. All right. Expedition begins. Critical fractures. Mystic chooses a new uncommon card. Dragoon chooses a new one, or they both get four max HP. Duplicate an attack card from any hand. Deal four damage. Damage increases by three for every time this hero has been attacked in this combat. Uh, I don't know what uh, we have for cards right now. I'm assuming this is... Okay, gain five block, move to target tile, lunge forward, deal damage and knockback. You know, I'm happy to make you kind of more of a tank. Uh, range of three. Sure. What is that forge symbol? Oh, you can see the upgrade. I'll take that. Combat reward gold. Heal chosen hero. I mean, sure. All right. So we got two separate hands here. Oh, that's kind of neat that we just have them both right at the same time. Uh, Quicksilver. Gain six block. If we stand on that, we gain six block. Is that what's happening there? Intends to do a buff. Intends to do a buff. This is... Oh, this is just a, a barrier. Okay. Gotcha. Move to the target tile. If they're both just intending to do that, I guess I don't really mind just running up in there. Theoretically gaining the block. Whether or not the block stays between turns... This turn. Gotcha. Move to target tile. Much less mobile. Deal five damage. Deal four damage. Apply flash to one random card in any hand. Okay. Seems optimal. Well, all right. Stone shield. We can gain block. Not that that really matters. Four damage. Increases based on how much damage you've taken this combat. Wait, hold on. What? That hits everybody? I thought you were joking when you said it was a range of three. That seems super good. Like, obviously, it's not that good right now, but... Okay. For now, we can kind of just play every card we have with a hand size of three and a mana size... Or mana cost of three. All right, so you're intending to do a ranged attack that is currently not being broken. You're intending to do a melee attack. So, in hindsight, knowing the block goes away at the end of the turn, we probably shouldn't have picked that up yet. The question is, do we pick it up by moving through it, or do we have to stand on it? I do know that, um, oh, gain four block. Gain some block. I mean, this is a barrier, so it'll absorb the ranged attacks. So we could do this, and then we could theoretically move here and break your... God, That's this is really interesting already. It's like, 
straightforward. The cards are not, like, complex yet, but... Gains two power per turn. Gotcha. Okay, melee attacks can go diagonal. That's good to know. I don't want to go here just in case that intercepts the attack. But I will go here so it's much harder for you to um, get to this character. Just in case that matters. Okay. Absorbed. Four damage and then apply flash. This is super optimal. Four damage and then we can buff up something else. Lunge forward doing a damage and a knockback. Uh, collides. If it collides with something behind it, it suffers impact, which is three damage. Okay. I'm afraid that we need to be a certain distance away to do it. Okay. Okay, this is legit. Uh, targets lose four power this turn and then exhaust. Gain two insight. Increases the effectiveness of flash and mist by X. I'm assuming that mist is probably um, the same thing as flash, but for armor. It's an educated guess. Move to a random adjacent tile around a selected en enemy and then gain an energy. So this is for the mystic. Um, see, the, the issue here is hand size being limited to three it makes choosing cards really difficult, right? They have to overcome a pretty extreme barrier to be worth taking in a three hand size, three mana game. Um, it's because you're more or less just picking what you do in a turn. I will take Shimmer in the hopes that it helps set something else up in the future. Choose a path. So this is where we were here. Potion, Crucible, move card reward for selected hero. Choose an existing move card to replace. Oh, I like that. Upgrade a card. Selected hero chooses a new move card and replaces an existing move card. Move to the target tile and gain five block. Move to the target tile, deal five damage to all adjacent enemies. I will say I'm going to try and have you be more of my tank. And um, have this be more of my DPS. You know, straightforward. Maybe a little, maybe a quasi-boring uh, way of doing about it. But I think it's going to be good. So, I kind of want to move you up. I I'm going to have to take a damage. No, actually, I don't. So, this costs two mana. I wonder, because I want to use this teleport. Oh, I guess you have steps, so you should maybe do this first. Oh. I see. It is a random tile. Apparently the attack is already broken, though. That's good to know. Oh, you're outside the radius, huh? Okay. And we don't follow. Okay. I thought we would perhaps follow. I like that they don't change targets. I'm going to take two damage, I suppose, just from the, uh, from the blunder. Uh, I wouldn't call it a blunder as much as learning mechanics. How about that? Let's go. Let's go with that. 
clout. So, because I really like just the fact that there's lots of ranged enemies and that blocking things with the barriers is a really core mechanic is such a smart way to handle the damage issue of a turn-based tactics roguelike deck builder because you're dealing with a little bit of randomness with your cards. You don't want to deal with randomness in movement. Randomness in movement is dangerous. It's so such a fine line for it to become unfun. Um, so this is really, really promising so far. I definitely want to move closer. The issue is like, where do I go with this? Oh, it also shows you which tiles. Okay, good. It shows you what tiles will make it so they can't attack me. Good. Really appealing. So I'll literally just step one, since that apparently shall break it. This seems like it only has one hit left in it, though, for what it's worth. Okay. We're only taking the one hit. The thing is, you have to make sure you make a clean move, though, because as soon as this is gone, I don't have that safety anymore. Frostmire Bane intends to do an area of effect attack. What's Bane? Oh, this is... When, if you step on this, affects a random card with energy cost increase. Gotcha. I can't actually move out of this, unfortunately. Yeah, that, that that is an unfortunate situation here. The good news is I can kill it, so it doesn't really matter. I think we... We march to this tile. We do not get the frost. Good. Go for clout. Because I want to be careful. It is much more optimal to... Um, use spark on this guy. Woo! <laughs> My god. See that card that I picked? It is very good. Deal 10 damage to enemies in a 3x3 three three area. I know this art. Oh, this, we are a demo indeed. This is, to be clear, to stop anyone from saying the thing. No, it's not stolen from X game you played on mobile 10 years ago. It is an asset pack. No, it's not stolen from game from browser. You know, it, it's an asset pack. Uh, that's why that art is familiar. Deal one damage or seven damage, apply a feeble. These are clearly going to be, you know, this is clearly going to be changed. <laughs> When it's not a demo. Duplicate an attack card from any hand. Lose three health. Gain an energy. Draw two cards. Eh. Seven damage and feeble is interesting. I don't know that I want to add anything to his hand, though. It's, it's pretty delicate right now. A suspicious fellow approaches you. Well met, traveler. Seems I to have... I seem to have more than I can carry. Care to take something off my hands? Mystic upgrades a card. Dragoon chooses a new uncommon card. Let's go for an upgrade. I feel like a uh, spark upgrade sounds nice. It's three damage increase. Three damage increase. I'm much more likely to... Well... This is three damage on a, a more conditional card. It's three, like, guaranteed damage. Oh, move to a random tile around a, a selected unit. Both heroes gain an energy is pretty cool, though. That is pretty cool. This is tough. These are actually really... It's such a minor upgrade, but it's really actually challenging. Much appreciated, friend. I'll go for Spark for now. Uh, combat Reward Potion. One additional card to choose from. Gold. I don't know these enemies yet, but the thing is you will slowly learn them. Also, very clearly, there's like some Hades-inspired visuals here, which I gotta say, look very good. 
Uh, but it's not, you know, it's not full Hades. There's, there's some elements that are certainly very Hades uh, in, in visuals. But the game, the game itself it has almost nothing to do with Hades. <laughs> like, almost nothing. Yes, there are room choice rewards. Um, guess what? That's every roguelike. <laughs> That's every roguelike. Uh, I'm going to go with an additional card. I'm not really much of a potion user. Holy moly. The only... T uh, let's see. You're doing six damage. It's already broken. Oh, my. You are standing on one of those tiles. I definitely want to use Reprisal. In a way that hits all of them. I can move and take these hits instead. Is there an overlap between these two? No, there's no overlap between these two. You have to get hit by one of them. As far as I'm aware, you're just trying to do an attack. That's an attack with a debuff. So I'd rather dodge you. Five block, six block. So I think we'll back you up. Which... Oh, you were never... A okay, you were never blocking that. Okay. Um, gotcha. Tricky, tricky. I definitely have interest in moving up. If I step here, I'm probably taking both hits. Right? Oh. Oh, because the Mystic is out of range, you're willing to change targets. Gotcha. Interesting. Don't really want to break that, but it's fine by me. Okay, so you're gonna take you're gonna take a hit. You don't have to. Okay, so you were applying something. AoE attack. You're doing the AoE attack for eight damage. You're doing what? You're not doing. You're not doing the AoE attack, are you? Okay, here's what's messing me up. Here's what's messing me up. I, I actually I found it out. This health bar and these buffs are above this guy, but it's because they shoot out to the side. This is not for anything here. It's for this. This is. It's just gotcha. All right. We're being targeted by you. Skitterbug doesn't really seem to be doing anything of note. It... Okay. If this unit dies, killer permanently removes. Gotcha. I mean, it's cool. I would love to get rid of that guy. You cannot give block, block to... Your friend there. Okay. Bog. If you move to a random adjacent tile, you're going to probably be in the bomb. Ugh, God. Maybe best to, um... Stride and lunge? Why are you changing targets? Because you're in melee? The second I enter melee, you change targets? It's a range of two. Okay, this does make you change targets. That's fine. 
I suppose. So we'll do this. Yeah, of course we get that tile. Of course we get that tile. I am feeble. I think this loot bug guy is getting away. Okay, you're doing... You're intending to hit the Dragoon. We could block that pretty easily. For now, I'll blast that. You have... Okay, but you got clout. Curses. I don't want to take the damage just to just to take the damage. That seems stupid. Mm. God, I wish there was a back. I, I wish there was an undo. Is there an undo? I don't know why I thought that was going to work. It's a very interesting radius. It's a it's a full square. It's not it's not like a one two and then diagonals count. It's a full on two radius and even including diagonal. So it's good to know. Whoops. Okay. Fourteen in AOE. I don't mind that one. Oh, okay, good. The spark stays. That's really good to know. Cannot get to you to use my clout. Unfortunately for me. The good news, though, is it really does not matter even a little. Alright, hopefully we can... We do not have our charge, but we do have our march. want to be a little bit careful as... If I can't kill... Which I can't... Oh, there's, there is no, there's no blocking this. Unless I get all the way over there. This is the only tile right behind this. That would work. I could go over there and hope for, like, the RNG of it. But I don't think I can block 13 damage, can I? I can block, I can block 10 damage. And you have a ward, so we're actually fine. I don't really want to be closer, do I? Not that much closer. You definitely... Yeah, you cannot... Oh! Human... Okay, units can't body block. Really? That feels... wrong... in a game where... columns can body block. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll eat that hit. That's fine. That's cool. Whatever. But it does seem... It does seem incorrect to me. Since part of the combat is about positioning things between you and enemies. But not... But not that. <laughs> uh, Dragoon reward rune. When adjacent to an ally at the end of the turn, both heroes gain five block... That seems to be maybe like a power. Uh, 14 damage. Apply. Apply thing that I don't know. 2 damage to the user. Gotcha. It's a, it does a lot of damage, but apply, applies a debuff to one of my cards. Deal 4 damage, apply a knockback on impact, repeat. Impact... Ooh. Holy moly. That does seem pretty good. I'm going to go for Phalanx, because we have that teleport near a, an ally. I am sorry, Mystic, for all the damage you just took there. I could, to be fair, technically, 
technically I only could have mitigated four and I could have chanced RNG for a one in three chance that I would have teleported to the correct randomized space. Whenever this hero plays a rune, deal two damage to all non-adjacent enemies. I only have a rune on the Dragoon, so I guess I'll take that. Elite combat. Improved rewards, let's just do it. Intends to block and buff. 35 gold if you kill this in time. Ether draw two cards. I don't know. I don't think it's... Do I... Okay, hold on. Do I want to break this pillar already? I guess so, because I don't have anything else. When hit by a ranged attack, teleports to the attacker and gain a power. I mean, so basically hit him with the biggest damage stuff I have, I guess. The answer can't be don't target. The answer could be kill the ad first, though. I want the loot bug, but if I, maybe if I can... Possibly if I can... Um, uh, do I really want to kill my pillar immediately? It's a pretty important thing. I could step here, hope... Hope I draw... I guess I would have to hope I draw another step, is the thing. Whatever. Uh, when hit by a ranged attack... Okay, it has to be a ranged attack. Okay, so that's actually... That's helpful. Yeah, you gain shield, but that shield should theoretically go away. You have you have a melee attack. Okay, I can just step away though. Oh, cool. That works for me. So your deal will be mostly handling the ad for now. If we have any extra turns for the Mystic, I guess I will try and get this guy. Like, it'd be cool. It's just a nice bonus. Uh, I only have one mana left. Am I wrong? Did that change? It said that he couldn't hit this space. Well, there's nothing I could have done about it anyways. Move to the targeted tile. I don't think I want to necessarily... Well, I'll move here. That's very unfortunate. Okay, so he can move a space. He can move a space and then attack. So he could hit there, though. Okay. That guy's got seven block this turn. Probably don't really want to mess with him. Don't really want to give you even more power. Clearly, you have the ability to gain power somehow anyways, though. This will vanish after one turn. I'd have to do... I'd have to do more damage than I can do. Okay. This is actually acceptably solid. I'll take two damage and gain a little bit of a buff. That works for me. 
The question is if I want to increase your power, because then I'm taking three damage. That's fine. It's an... Did he teleport to a uh, to the attacker? Is that what it was? Because if so, it says when hit by a ranged attack, teleports to the attacker and gains a power. And Dragoon most definitely is not doing ranged attacks. Okay, this is awkward. We do have Shimmer, thankfully. This probably... I don't know if this counts as a ranged attack. It might. You are intending to block and buff. So you get over here, and then you can step and shimmer. Guarantee you get out of there. Uh, if I attack you with the lightning, you do get the buff. There's no real guarantee that I will be able to do anything about it next turn. I don't know that I'll be able to do... I shouldn't be able to do 20 damage. There's a chance I could if I gain the AoE attack again, but I doubt it. I never used the ether tile. At this point, one damage is one damage. It also moved him in melee range, which works well. Ah, he buffed up like a lot of power. We'll just get out if we need to. Um, teleports to the attacker and gains a power. So we kind of want to do that one first. Why did the range get so much bigger? Why did the range get so much bigger? What is with you, man? Okay. Theoretically, if I step here, shouldn't he switch targets? Because it's a longer walk to get to me. It says it. he goes for the closer targets. It's a melee hit. You have two energy left? You do. We're going to give the five energy at the very least. Yeah, this, this is some inconsistency. They said that melee attacks target the closest unit. This is definitely a, like... A closer unit than this one is. This is one, two tiles. This is one, two, three tiles. So the fact that that is going to actually hit that character seems incorrect. But oh well. Seems like it, basically one thing that seems to be unclear about it. Okay. It's because the game does not... It just does not register diagonals as an extra tile. Because you can move diagonally too. So... We are equal... We are equidistant. And ironically, we would be equidistant even if you, the mystic moved right here. That, that would be equidistant to this. Gotcha. That's the really important missing, uh, missing ingredient. Is the way that functions... It is good in the future for clarity, but for learning compared to a different turn-based tactics game, it's a weird hurdle. Uh, the first skill card you play each combat is played twice. Cool. Uh, let me check the decks. Can I do that now? Yeah. Skill, I mean, Shimmer. I don't have a whole lot of skills. I mean, Shimmer twice is cool. Ward going twice is also quite beneficial because we can choose who gets it. Even though the other character is more of our tank. Uh, target gains five, block, apply mist 
Yep, that is what I said. Gain four block when this card is played. Uh, pull a random unit in selection to target location. Teleport target to a random tile within two range. Deal 11 damage, two additional damage for, per projectile card in the hero's deck. Okay. Travels in selected direction, collides with the first enemy or structure in the way. Hmm. Interesting. This does how much damage? 11. That seems really good. Cost two mana, but I do have extra mana gain. Elite combat, improved rewards. Trinket shop. Let's find out. Okay. <laughs> uh, what do we got? We have 260 bucks. At the end of the turn, deal four damage to adjacent enemies. Provides a power. Uh, when this hero gains block, a random adjacent enemy takes five damage. When this hero plays a two plus cost attack card, both heroes draw a card. Three block for every card in the hero's hand at the end of the turn. Eh. Remove a corruption. Hmm. I'm leaning towards this, obviously, on the Dragoon. Hurtin'. Hurting more than I'd like. Intends to block and buff. Gains 5 block when first damaged by an attack. Intends to block. Mebo Guardian. I mean, I could just kill you in one hit. That's pretty good. Seems good to me. We also apparently have extra projectiles in the deck. I don't know which things are classified as that, but well, otherwise I don't know why we would have done 15. Gain 2 power. I would love to get there. Okay. The hell? Giant Braid Mass. Intends to block, kind of moved around a little bit. Lunge, so does 8, does 11, and then theoretically it hits again, but the the nature of the... Hmm. I don't know, I'm just going to do it first here to see if... Gotcha. You don't have a... Uh, the ability to stop here. Hmm. All right, let's see. The melee is indeed broken, but am I wrong? Didn't it say that this radius was safe? I think it's a, a thing that is messed up due to the fact that my character is body blocking right now. You know, like, if I was standing there and I'm body blocking, technically, technically, this is out of range. Unfortunately, it's hiding me from getting the correct information. There's no reason to even, like, chance any of this stuff. I'm gonna slowly move towards the power. I guess there is. It would have been to, um... Eh, we could have shimmered, got phalanx. I'm, I'm not worried about it. I, I'm more happy to go for the power. Certainly, you still try and move t towards me, right? Gotcha. Intends to move. Gloat about it, why don't you? Doing a whopping four damage. That's about all I got, really. Don't want to break that tile just in case. Okay. I 
God, I love... That's a really good trinket. Would you please... Oh, you, you're already unable to attack me. Certainly, yeah, I was going to say, certainly that's also not going to work. But wait, one, two. So th <laughs> this is so weird. This is actually in radius, which means we can kill. It, it's so, uh, it's going to take a lot of getting used to the way that the radius works. I like it, though. To be clear, it is good. It is good. It just takes getting used to. It's player, it, it is generally a generous thing for the player to have it work this way. Uh, deal 8 damage, and then draw a card. Gain 4 block, and then pull, and pull enemy. If it reaches you, deal your current block as damage. Ooh, that, it's, uh, the weird thing is it's quasi-disynergistic with the relic we have right now. Because this implies that we would want to, um, stack up our armor first. The, Infinite range. I'll, I'll give it a shot. That would imply that it can be done in front of me. Upgrade a single card. Certainly cures. Seven block. Up by four on each. Lunge forward, do 12. Three per projectile. So I have two. So these lightning strike apparently is a projectile. I wouldn't have considered. Gaining block is certainly appealing. It's like, does that mo move need to be better? Ooh, stride costing zero is fun. I don't think it's like a, a urgent upgrade. Shimmer, again, does seem very appealing due to the both heroes gaining energy thing. I think it sounds fun. Let's do it. Heal the chosen hero. Let's do it. AoE attack. You intend to attack me. That's not that big of a deal. So this must count as adjacent. It does. Good. So then this counts as adjacent. I just want to be a little bit safer with it right now because I can't... I could move here and then shoot that guy, but then I'm taking eight damage. I'd rather just do the nice clean 5-5. Five, five, and then we do another 5. There's so much damage. Okay. Aff afflicts a card with deal 2 damage to the user when played. Uh, gotcha. So if I reel you in... This okay. This comes from you. I kind of wish I had a projection of like what was gonna happen because it's a little unclear. A random adjacent, so not it's not both. It is just one. So we could do like a stone shield. We have the shimmer, but we don't really have a need to do that right now. We can play everything we have. The reason to do that is just to move out of the way of something. Okay, so it, it got pulled into my tile and Demediate died. Okay, did I take damage from that? I may have taken damage from it. I'm not sure. 
That's an AoE attack. Um, in order to position myself safely, I'd have to do something like this, and this is a range of two. Very odd. Like, I could theoretically be in a spot where I could maybe do up to 10 more damage to him if I was by him. The issue with that is that I'd be taking a gamble on whether or not this character uh, would be standing in this fire <laughs> afterwards. Which is just, I just didn't really feel like taking that gamble. Simple as that. Definitely going to be doing that attack. I think we want to move you here so that we can move you here. And still be both be safe, both be adjacent, and be in melee range. That's the optimal. So we'll do an extra five at the end of the turn. Good. I would love to heal the Mystic, even though it's for less. 11 damage to enemies around an ally. Purify all cards in the hand. Selection ground. 3 damage 2 times to all targeted enemies. All targeted enemies. Sounds like just one, though, right? Ground. Ah. Gotcha. A two by two. Move to a random adjacent tile. Flash one random card in any hand. And draw a card. Exhaust. That's certainly not bad. It doesn't deck bloat at all. Well, I wouldn't say at all, but it doesn't really deck bloat because it's Cycles itself and then exhausts. Um, duplicate an attack card from any hand. Hurl boulder. I mean, a ranged attack for this character is not bad, but it also just doesn't really matter for this guy. Nine damage three. Yeah, it doesn't fit. It does not fit the archetype that I'm currently working on. Choose anvil or or campfire. I will currently go for campfire. And fight the boss here. Hello there. Intends to summon. I do feel like I have a much better grasp of the uh, unique intricacies of this game's turn-based tactics language now. Uh, and I would love to see what a another run would look like. Ooh. Gain two power. Certainly this damage doesn't scale off of power. Uh, so we also want to think about standing. How do we get to be adjacent? Intends to summon. So for, if we want to make sure we are adjacent to our ally, we have to move to this tile, which also leaves this for later, which is probably for the best. Let me guess. It's going to be real in. Yep. That's okay. We will cast it sometime this fight. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, entity summoned and bound to the bone shaman. You intend to hit that, really? Six damage? I, I don't know if I... Oh, God. Wait, I just realized I didn't draw any block. You know what? Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind that. Oh, I do mind that you are going to be taking some of my hits for me. Okay, because then we can 
step. Yeah. I wish that the... I wish I could undo movement cards. That's the only thing. I wish I could undo movement cards, but... Hey. Also, just don't mess them up. How about that? Uh... Do we try and burn you down, or do we kill the ads? That's the big question I got. He's intending to move. This puts him in a spot where, where are you going to move, right? That's going to be a problem for me. Going to get my block. We're up to 13. We don't even take any damage. Gotcha. What are we at? Plus five. You're intending to do six twice. Could I... What's the hand? You are preventing me from moving to these? Yeah, because you're in the way. Gotcha. So yeah, that that's what's happening with enemies, but... The thing is, like, this shows where, you know, it can hit right now. It doesn't say anything about how, it, how it'll be later. Um, I will say this does sort of suck. I can't really utilize these pillars. Wow, wow, wow. This can hit anywhere as well. That's the annoying thing about this right now. I do feel like I'm supposed to kill the ads, but I'm not positive. I can't avoid your attack no matter where I go. Can't avoid your attack no matter where I go. So I would have needed to block 20 damage this turn. Or I would have needed to do 22 damage to this guy. Which I would have been well on my way if I did you the uh, the attack on the first turn. It's so tempting to get up there. But we this is the issue with our, our current build. Our current build... Um, desires us to be close to each other, more or less. Alright, do I take the 8 damage? I'm going to be taking extra damage regardless in this scenario. If I put on... If I put shield on this guy to block some of the damage that's going to be taken, I at the very least... Yeah, it's fine. I, d I get to do an extra 5 damage to the boss. Like That's the whole kit and caboodle of that one. And I do get to block both of those then. 10, what is that? Intends to do 10 global damage to all heroes? Seriously? 10 unavoidable damage to all heroes? Seriously? Does that go away if I break these? Because otherwise, I am not a fan of unavoidable attacks in games. In tactics games. Let's see. I definitely want to be standing by each other. I could kill this guy, who is clearly shielding you for seven every time. You're intending to attack me, which, you know, it's fine. If I march here, I can't really get to the power tile. But then I'm not going to be wasting... I'm not going to be wasting any of my... Um, ugh. But then you'll have to move and go... That, that's okay. That doesn't really matter. That doesn't really matter. 
I'm not gonna be moose like wasting any of my horned mask damage this way. That's the the whole thought process of that one. You already have ten. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm still taking 10 global damage. That That is just what you do, I guess. Whenever it teleports, it and its allies gain two power. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm not a big unavoidable damage guy. All right. Thank you. I do want this guy gone, though. So I'll, I'll do those first. Was it urgent? No. Where do you think you're going, sweetie? No. Oh, yeah, that's right. You teleport. Where do you think I'm going? This does... I don't get a C yet. Intends to summon. We win. All right. It was a little bit messy in the middle as we were figuring out the the uniqueness of this game's language compared to other turn-based tactics games. But uh, when I got the hang of it, I really enjoy it. There's a couple things that I think as a demo that, you know, will get improved over the course of time. Those things being like clear predictions and how things work out when, you know, uh, you, it's good to know what is going to happen. This sound is getting very droning. Holy moly. Uh, but knowing exactly what's going to happen when you perform an action is an integral important thing in a turn-based tactics game. It is done mostly perfectly here. Uh, I would say, and this is, this is something that is just like, uh, whether or not your, your heroes should be able to block, body block for your teammate is not necessarily something that should definitely be true, to be clear. I will say, if it's going to stay the way it is right now, it should be explained in the tutorial that while body blocking works with, you know, uh, pillars, it should it does not work with allies. I think that that is an important distinction. Um, I think that... I don't know how you solve... I don't know how you solve the situation where... It shows where enemies are going to attack based off of where you're standing, you know, but it doesn't it doesn't update for when you move. I don't think that there's really going to be like that great of a way to solve that. I think that's just because I don't think there's a good way to solve that. I think that's just something you have to learn. Be like, OK, well, enemies move one space or maybe they move two spaces. I'm sure it says somewhere. Uh, and then you would just learn from there. So I think that's I think that's fine. That's like a user error issue that will go away after playing for a little bit. Uh, but I really like this. I think it's super good. The the minor issues and things here and there. It's going to be three acts, three plus playable classes, 150 cards, 65 relics, more bosses, 35 unique battles, 10 ascension levels. Uh, I think this is going to be incredible. I really do. This is a, it's a demo right now. It is a demo right now, and it is really, really exceptional. Uh, oh, there's even there's ascensions in the demo. Would you look at that? Increased combat modifiers. Pew, pew. Actually, I want to play Mystic Dragoon instead of Dragoon Mystic. But, like, yeah, just the combination of, of a bunch of different characters could be huge. You know, if you add, like, three, four, five characters, that's that's a lot of different, you know, different play styles. Alas, alas, though, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Tendril. I really enjoyed it. Make sure you check it out. Uh, go wishlist it. I recommend playing the demo. I had a lot of fun right there, and you could be playing a completely different game than I do based off of your choices. Uh, but yeah, obviously very early demo form. Judge it as that. Uh, thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time.